Welcome to Journaling with Kim. We are going to go right ahead and jump into our confetti devotional kit from Illustrated Faith and Miss Shannon Noel. I have here the baby doll stamp set from Beloved Society and Illustrated Faith. I am going to go ahead and get started. Well, the first prompt we're looking at, or the first devotional from the confetti kit, it's tied up with a bow and it got me thinking. And I'll read a little bit, I'll share a little bit with you. It doesn't matter your age, whether you're six or 46 years old, there is something simply magical about untying a crisscrossed ribbon and ripping into a crisply wrapped gift box on your birthday. There's such mystery about what is inside, but you already know you're going to love it no matter what because it was chosen specifically with you in mind. The same is true when we think about our second birthday, our birthday in Christ. He's given us the best gift we could ever hope for, tied up with a ribbon of love and wrapped crisply in some grace then we could rip apart. And our first bump, from Miss April comes from Psalms 37, four to five. And it says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust him, trust in him and he will act. And can you imagine committing yourself to the Lord and he's given you all your heart's desires as long as it's within his will? That's a great present to unwrap and to unopen and to open. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp out the shirt right here from the Beloved Society. And then I have some, then I went ahead and I pulled out a sheet from the Delight in His Day craft pad from Illustrated Faith and Day Spring. I think this goes perfectly with our confetti theme to get her her beautiful shirt. So I got my acrylic stamp block. I went ahead, I put my clear stamp on, and I'm just using the ink pad to slightly dab the ink on the stamp. There we go. I like to go ahead and stamp on the back and then cut out. I'm not really looking for the outline of the shirt on the paper itself. So that's one way you could do it. You could stamp on the front and then cut, cut along the lines. Or as I said, I don't like to see the outline of the shirt. I like it to just be a crisp shirt by itself. So I stamp it on the back and then I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'm just give it a little wiggle to make sure that all the stamp goes on the paper itself. And then I'm going to go get my scissor and I'm going to cut it out. quick snip here, a quick snip there, and we'll have the shirt all cut out and ready for our page. Now while cutting it out, there was something that I wasn't really sure that I'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and do another stamp, another imprint on the front of the paper this time. And then I'll go ahead and see which I prefer, whether I'd like the shirt with the outline or the shirt shirt without the outline. Let's see which one. So here I am. Now I have four choices. I have the confetti or the sprinkle shirt without the outline. Or I could always flip it over and I think this color could also go with the kit as well. So we have the back which is a pale blue with the outline so that could work as well. And even though I said before that I didn't like the shirt with the outline, I think I, I think it could work this time around. Hmm. So let's see. So I always keep a handy wipes around to clean my stamp off as soon as I've finished using it. And with an 18 month old, yeah, I always have wipes lying around. So that's a good thing for me. So we're going to go ahead and peel this off, return it, and then we're going to grab her head. We're going to stick this to the 
acrylic block. Grab my ink pad again. Lightly stamp it down just to get some stamp on the just to get some ink on the stamp. And there we go. And I think I like her right here. Now, um, if you're looking, you could also see a little bit of a bleed through from my previous entry that was from the, uh, hmm, the Joy Journey devotional. I'm okay with that. If you're someone who doesn't like to see the bleed through, you could always go ahead and prep your pages with some gesso and just quickly hit it with a heat tool, a heat gun to get that dry. I'm okay with the bleed through, so I let it stay. And I'm gonna go ahead again, I'm gonna wipe my stamp off and put it back on the backing. And I'm partial to the hairstyle with a big puffy afro, so that's the one I'm going to be using right now. So let's return that and get this big puffy afro right here. There we go. And back to my handy dandy ink pad. Okay, now that I have her stamped, I'm just going to go ahead and line up the hairstyle with her head. And there we go. I'm a little off, but I'm okay with that. Looking at it, I can see that I'm a little off right here, but I'm okay with that. Again, to me, Bible journal, and it's it's not about perfection. It's about spending time in God's word. And when I did my stamp, there was a little white spot here. I could have gone ahead and re-stamped it over. Instead, I just grabbed for a black colored pencil, and I'm just shading it in. Quick fix. I went ahead and I, of course, cleaned it off. I'm going to adhere the stamp back. And then let's choose her shirt. This time I think I'm going to go with the sprinkle shirt with the outline. So I'm just gonna grab my little trusty Illustrated Faith tape runner. I'm going to do two quick swipes just so we could adhere it and hold it down. I'm just running my tape runner over her shirt. Then we stick it down. And I think that each day when we wake up, we are opening uh, a gift from God. It's the gift of life. It's another day to worship him, to start afresh, to leave everything from the following day in the past. And I think that in itself is a gift. And how ideal we're living in the present, a present from God. So let's open up that gift that has been tied with the ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and quickly add my other pieces. Go. I'm going to layer these pieces. I like these checkered name tag. Here comes a gift box that's tied up with a river and sparkly stuff. Who doesn't love sparkles? Trusty tape runner again. There we go. Just put that right there. And of course, we're celebrating present the gift of life that God has given us or a new birth
washi at the bottom. If I yes, here we go. You can never have too much washi tape. I love my washi collection, constantly adding to it. There we go. All right, just bring that down. I'm okay with the rip edges. Again, I'm not into perfection. I don't cut it off to give it that nice, even edges. I normally just rip it apart. Here we go. So I just went ahead and I add a few embellishments. I put a nice pretty party art on her head. Um, I put on my glasses. Yeah, I do wear glasses. I put up here on her and I added a necklace. Now I'm taking this little notepad stamp from the stamp set. I'm going to just stamp it up top to go ahead and add my journal entry. So I'm stamping it twice, up and down, just to a large enough area for my little thanks to God. And there we go. With like just a little. Can you see that? Yes. I'll pull it down a little bit more. Of course, I'm going to take my handy dandy wipe to erase all this ink, leftover ink on my stamp. One other thing you could do to get the excess stamp off is to just keep a blank sheet paper nearby and just stamp the excess ink off your ink pad. Okay, so that's clean. Let's put it away. I'm going to go ahead and add my journal entry now. Love these precision pen from Illustrated Faith. I think I will do the 0.25 tip, the finer tip of the two. So journal entry completed, tab added. I'm just going to add the title to my tab and I'm celebrating the gift of life. I'm celebrating the present that he has given me, the present of the present. There we go. Now the confetti technique was inspired by Ms. Shannon Noel over on, I think she did it on her Instagram page, or was it Facebook? I'm not sure. You just get in a regular pencil with a rubber pad, rubber on there, dip it in your ink, and stamp away. This is something I'm sure my son would enjoy, so we'll have to do this technique one day together. Just finishing touches, and then I'll go ahead and I'll put my date. And at the bottom just to put more confetti pieces. For my date, I think I'm going to write my date in today instead of using my date stamp. So what are you celebrating today? What are you thanking God for? What present are you going to be unwrapping today that has been tied up with a big pretty ribbon, a big pretty bow that has been presented to you by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? 
uh, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my video. See you next time.